ABC in season one asking me to do this show, and I'm like, what is this show? It's a dance show. I'm like, why would you want me to come on that show? <laughs> and I got on my marketing team, and we decided this is not the time to do it. It's a brand new show. I don't know if they're going to pick it up next year. So we, we turned it down. So a band that did it. He did all right. <laughs> <laughs> so season two, I got a call again. And I mysteriously got busy, so I could tell him no. So I told him no in season two. So Jerry Rice did it, and Jerry Rice was okay. Woo. Master P set the bar so low. <laughs> so low. And then in season three, he called me again, and, and I said, man, I can't tell these people no three times in a row. So I said, okay, give me 24 hours, let me call my wife and talk to my wife. So I called my wife and tell my wife, I said, baby, check this out. I got a call from ABC. They want me to come on that show, Dancing with Stars, the one we saw with Jerry Rice on last year. I said, yeah, yeah, they want me to come on that show. She said, really? I'm like, yeah. I said, so what do you think about doing? I said, I think about getting on the show. She said, why? I said, well, I said, I think I can dance better than Regina Rice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I think it'll be a great conversation with each other whenever I'm doing business and everything. That's all it works out that way. She said, really? Yeah. She said, can you dance like that? I'm like, no, I've never danced like that before in my life, but they won't give me somebody to teach me how to dance like that. She's like, well, I don't know, babe. I said, what you mean, on? I don't, want, I don't want you to embarrass me. <laughs> I said, me embarrass you in my face. I'm going to dance like People talk about me. And I'm like, I mean, come on. I said, she said, well, I don't want my girlfriend's dog calling me to my girl. Why you let your husband do it? <laughs> I said, well, baby, listen. You know I can dance. She said, yeah, I just don't know if you can dance like that. I said, well, at least give me the point. Give me the give me opportunity to she said, okay, I support you. So she's in the support. So now I'm getting ready to meet my dad's partner for the very first time. And so we both, my wife and I, in the studio, and this person gonna come through the door, and the cameras are gonna be right there watching. So at this point, we had we had Norfolk, Virginia, and Cheryl comes in, and it's Cheryl Burke, the defending champion. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, I got a defending champion. I'm feeling real good. My wife all put, oh, she always excited like women do. Love and share and everything else. I didn't think anything, nothing, nothing. And all of a sudden, I'm simply like, that's Cheryl Burke. Hey, she's cute, too. <laughs> then I'm like, OK, let's get, the, get it on. And Cheryl comes in, we shake hands, we talk about it, and we set the tempo. I said, listen, I'm going to do everything you ask me to do. I'm going to work hard. I'm going to be on time. I can stay as long as I need to. In my mind's eye, I think all it takes is four hours for me to learn a minute and 30 seconds to take it. I'm going to give you everything I have, but don't disrespect me. She said, D. So we start practicing uh, our very first day. Then afterwards, I go home. As soon as I walk in the door, my wife's standing in the kitchen. She says, listen, here are the rules. <laughs> you don't go to breakfast with Cheryl, you don't go to lunch with Cheryl, you don't go to dinner with Cheryl. When the practice is over, you come straight home. I said, no problem. No problem. You gotta lay down the law sometimes. And so we start this process, and then Cheryl and I are dancing, we've been practicing for a couple of weeks here, and then my wife happened to surprise us, come in, and she walks in to see us dance, she said, mm. and turn around and walk right back out the door. <laughs> the then finally, right before the show, we ready to get started. We're having this dinner in Dallas with some of our friends, former mayor uh, Ron Kirk, ambassador to the United States, Rocket Ishmael, Tim Brown, and some other people. And the guys are on one side and the ladies on the other side. And so we're talking, the guys are having a conversation, and the ladies are having a conversation. And all of a sudden, my wife turns to me and says, you going to tell them? And I'm not supposed to tell anybody that, that I'm on the show. That's supposed to be a secret until they make the announcement. And so she's like, I'm like, why don't you bring this up at the table? She's like, are you going to tell her? I'm like, OK, I break down. I say, all right, guys, I've been asked to come on the show called Dance with the Stars. And all the ladies erupted. I mean, oh, that's great. That's great. I can't wait to see you dance. Some of the guys even said, man, that's awesome. I can't wait to see you dance. And I know they're lying. <laughs> and out of the left the corner of my eye, I see Tim Brown get up on the table like, no, no, don't do it. You're messing with your legacy. Can you see Jerry? <laughs> That's the way it came out of his mouth. I'm like, so I'm, just sitting, I'm like, I feel dumb. I'm like, why y'all tripping on this show? And so we go on and they, and they just tripping. I'm like, man, this is crazy. People 
lost their mind over this last new star shop. So I begin to dance, and I'm thinking again, I'm gonna be okay. First week I get by, then the second week I gotta do the tango. I do the tango and I get a 19. Jerry Springer do the tango and he gets a 21. <laughs> oh, I'm pissed. Oh, God. I'm like, how am I gonna get beat by Jerry Springer? So I fly back to Texas. I tell all my business partners, I said, listen, all bets are off. I mean, this four-hour thing ain't working. I gotta go to eight hours, because I'm not gonna get beat by Jerry Springer. <laughs> from four hours to eight hours. Then from eight hours to 12 hours. If you want something bad enough, you gotta be willing to make the sacrifice for you, which is the bottom line. And also I learned something else about myself, and you will too. Don't take yourself so seriously. Life is to be enjoyed. And if you're passionate about what you're doing, you never work, you have to find. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the journey and never ever forget you already have the tools to be successful. When I look back at my Dancing with the Stars experience and my football career, I took some of the same tools into Dancing with the Stars that I had in football. I broke down that dance routine in 30 second intervals and I learned them all. I learned the whole entire routine so I understood where I was on the floor. And I learned the process and the techniques and the, and the style and the, just the posture and everything. I learned it all. And once I learned it all, I didn't even think about it anymore. It became second nature. It became a part of who I was. Then I was able to allow my personality to come out. As you go on and you continue to sell homes, know your craft. Allow your personality to Help those that are seeking new homes. Help those who are trying to sell their current home. Close the deal and put a smile on someone's face. And never ever forget who you come. I'm going to leave you with a quote from a legendary coach, Paul Bearman. He says, if you believe in yourself and have dedication and pride, you will be a winner. The price of victory is high, but so are the rewards. Thank you all very much.